We are ready to put the bottom on and I feel bad that I didn't video making this and this this could be the top of the bed this could be the bottom naturally but uh, me making this but it was very simple I just cut a piece 45 did clamp the 45s with this bend, but I'm gonna make another one. I'm gonna show you how I did that. I cannot believe that I did not record it again. <sighs> this is ridiculous. Anyway, what I did was I clamped them, heated it up. I'm gonna break one of these off, then I'm gonna show you all again. I, I'm sorry. I feel like a idiot. Alright. And this is what I did. Just lightly scribe it. I'm going to break that. Right there. <sighs> I can't believe I did that. Oh well. Light scribe right there on that point. I'm going to clamp it right here. Okay. And one of the points I was trying to get across, you're going, to, you're going to need a piece like this too. So you're going to heat it. And one of these vice grip things, if you're going to do a lot of this, is invaluable. It works really well. Once you see it get floppy, just kind of put that right there. Bend it up to a 45 degree. Holding pressure down on that to give you a nice clean bend. And there we go. Now I sanded this side already. I gotta sand this side. And <clears throat> what I was showing you when I was sanding it and not recording it was uh, you want to get it where you've got a nice flat surface there. I've already sanded this. Now that you've got this done, you're gonna be tied around there. So let's put some methylene chloride in our bottle here. We're not going to need much. That's way too much right there. And I don't know if you can see that or not, but that's a huge amount. You don't need all that. Not for this any, not for this little job right here anyhow. So you're going to not want to push on it to deform it. You just want to just set your finger on it and you, you see it go to the inside and you've got time to adjust it. I put a little heat on it to help the evaporation of it. And this is real time, folks. <laughs> so it doesn't take long for it to hold. And actually, I'm not holding it as long as I should. I do a lot of clamping. <clears throat> I 
and you can see inside there where there's no light coming through there. Well, we got a little bit right here on the corner. We can always end that. Hey, Frank, where are you going, baby? And then now you have no light coming through there at all. If you can see, and there you have your louver. There's just any kind of shape. And this right here, if you look at it, it looks wet, but what it is, it's just molten plastic. And once this dries, and it doesn't take long, once it dries, you can even take your finger, smooth it out, and there's just a lot of things you can do. And this is 80,000 thick, you, all kinds of project boxes, cases you can make for batteries, stuff like that. I just wanted to show you all this. I told you I would. And I just plum got involved with this thing, putting everything together, fighting the box in there, the battery box in there. But it came out really, really nice. I wrote it yesterday. I don't own a helmet. Like I said, I got to get one. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very, very much for watching. Uh, it's a pleasure doing this for you guys. You subscribers are awesome. I do this for y'all. I don't do it for any other reason. This is just some information I have that I like to share and help y'all. And you got some people using 3D printers to make battery boxes and stuff like that, which they look really cool, and laser cutters and <laughs> all this, you know, and I'm going, oh, Lord. I said, the average guy that wants to do something like this, just the average Joe like me in a shop, which I do have a nice shop, but not like, not like that, uh, can do his own custom boxes. And like I said, a little bit of... Uh, Two or three coats of clear coat, letting them dry, let it dry 72 hours. <laughs> but I wait, I would wait till this dries fully, but this is just for a demonstration and it, and it will and it will come out just very pretty. And and there you go. So So guys, that's the end of this series on series, or this is the end of part two on this. It's done. But uh, I, I did want to show you this. I told you I was going to show you this. So please hit like and subscribe. Uh, leave me a comment, good or bad, doesn't matter. And uh, y'all have a good day.